Cities don't really uh, exist without an enormous amount of commerce and uh, trade at any period of the world. And uh, today, uh, this creates a very special problem because uh, the old forms of trade uh, created a lot of hardware, everything from money and bullion to uh, cornflakes and Cadillacs. And uh, this old hardware uh, now has to accommodate itself to an electric information world where everything moves uh, by instantaneous means and creates confrontations between all sorts of cultures and all sorts of hardware and all sorts of software or information that are completely new. City life has become so intense that people live on tranquilizers of various forms and the advertising people are having trouble breaking through the tranquil barrier. You remember the uh, sort of new ad for uh, enjoy your next cold, uh, take uh, such and such pills. You can have the cold and we'll take away the symptoms. Enjoy yourself. The, in order to enjoy yourself in the kind of uh, intense urban environment that we live in, people have to turn themselves off a great deal. And so, as we sit here at the top of Sutton Place, what suddenly strikes the view is an enormous amount of cave-dwelling art. Apartments in a high-rise building are a little repeat, repeat, repeat modules that create exactly the form that Andy Warhol calls mini-art. When you repeat the apartment form, hundreds and hundreds of times in a small space, such as these high-rise around us represent, you really switch into a tribal or cave world. And these people, therefore, I hadn't realized it really until we sat here a few minutes ago. These people in these new types of cave dwelling really depend upon electric information for their existence. Electric elevators, electric telephones, electric TV, electric radio. Without these electric services, this sort of cave world would be impossible. A tribal form of dwelling has no neighborhood. The tribe absorbs everything. And in the high-rise building, there is no surrounding neighborhood of diverse occupations and diverse social functions at all. It's all contained in the single tribal structure of the high-rise. The city has become orb. Herb has orbed. The planet has become a single city. And when you look at these buildings around us, you realize that they could be in Tokyo, or Berlin, or London, or anywhere. They have nothing to do with Toronto as a particular place at all. They're, they're really a kind of new Paleolithic cave art form uh, for the new tribal culture.